case briefs and so much more ls data's got what you're looking for the davis family engaged in a legal battle with first national bank of westville and first national bank of danville in an appeal to the united states court of appeals for the seventh circuit in 1989 the family alleged that the banks had violated the bank holding company act's anti-tying provisions Laws designed to uphold competition in the banking industry by prohibiting unnecessary conditions for the extension of credit. The conflict materialized in 1985 when the Davis family sought an additional $200,000 to salvage their business. The banks agreed to lend them the funds, but instated a requirement that the family liquidate their business and settle existing debts as a condition of the loan. Faced with no other option, the Davis family agreed to the terms and signed the loan deal. When they failed to liquidate their business within the imposed timeline, the banks demanded an immediate halt of their business operations for liquidation. The Davis family conceded and liquidated their business in 1986. They, however, retaliated by filing a lawsuit against the banks, citing the liquidation requirement as a violation of the anti-tying provisions of the Bank Holding Company Act. The initial ruling by the district court surprised the family when it favored the banks, upholding the liquidation requirement as a traditional banking practice to safeguard the bank's investments. Despite the setback, the Davis family channeled their disappointment into an appeal. Unfortunately for them, the appeal court upheld the district court's decision, granting the bank's summary judgment on the Davis's tying claim. This landmark case served as a potent reminder for borrowers about the potential conditional practices implemented by banking institutions. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.